Hi, welcome back to Meta Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. I am uh, Conway Twitty. Conway Twitty or Cowboy Twitty? Cowboy. Cowboy Twitty. Cowboy Twitty. Okay. Travis Roy. <laughs> that name sounds very familiar. He's on my Facebook. Yeah, friends. good friend on uh, Facebook. He's a friend of mine on Facebook too. Yeah. We should do a Conway Twitty cover. Yeah. I don't think I even know him. He's good. Personally. He's in the metal. I don't yeah. really know. I never met him, but uh... he's a not good Facebook friend though. Yeah. He's in Travis the Roy. He's in the lot of shit I'm into. Travis Roy. Oh, Travis Roy. Yeah, Fuck I know who he is. Yeah, yeah. Are you friends with him on Facebook as well? I know who, I know who he is. Are you know him? The Future is, is of is Metal. Is he brother? Is he Dale Roy's brother? Is D uh, Dale from Canadian Assault? Yeah. No, he's related to Patrick Watt, a goalie from okay. Montreal. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know Dale? Patrick, Patrick I, I, Roy. I know who he is. I don't know him personally. You never met him? In, no, I've only heard of him. I've actually met him in the real world. I don't know him personally. I guess he, I heard he's okay, a nice guy. So. He's a nice guy. See that trap, dude? You got your own fucking segment, dude. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Travis Roy. All right, well, Roy. we'll just say Travis Roy. Hail Travis Roy. There fucking you go. right. Speaking Travis of, Roy, the fucking future of the youth of America. If it goes the of, right way. Speaking of metal and old school and everything, Anvil. You guys into Anvil at all? I there. I mean, I've heard when I've heard of them, it's like it's it's decent, but it's not my preference. But you know, I can't say I dislike it or like it. It's um. So, I mean, John, what do you think? Well, it's like destruction with less spikes and a little more hairspray. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's okay. They're, they're, they're it's pretty okay. cool. I mean, it's I good, mean, yeah. good musicians, good riffs, not my cup of tea. I never really got into them. Uh, I know they've been around for years, man. I'll give them respect. Know, but, uh, I'll give them respect. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's not something I would, like, pick up and put. It's just... Yeah, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's like put them on, I wouldn't say turn them off or anything like that. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather listen to... Venom. Venom! <laughs> of course, Venom. Genocide! Fuck the bastards! Fuck the bastards! <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get that out of my system. Have you guys uh, seen the Anvil movie? No. You didn't know there was no, There really? was an Anvil movie? You guys didn't know about Anvil in history the, of the uh, Honestly, the most I know about Anvil is that Rick Ross wore their t-shirt on the death, uh, no, the Massacre album from Beyond. That's yeah, all yeah, I know about them. Yeah. Well, they've been around a long time. Yeah, they had the seventies, right? Late seventies. Yeah. Right? There's a killer Judas Priest tune called "Between the Hammer and, and the Anvil." That's a good Between tune. Between the Hammer right. and the that's Anvil. A, that's a good tune. You're right. Between the Hammer and the Anvil. Even, even though Rob Halford's a dick smuggler, but oh. uh, yeah, but he's good. that's all right. We'll forgive him. We'll what? forgive him. For that. I guess semen is good for the throat because he can sing his ass off. I, I heard, heard it. Know, I would I know. I heard it really is good for the throat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, when Matt gets here, we'll try it out. <laughs> right, yeah, we'll uh, see how Matt's voice is. <laughs> I'll wait in the car with Gordon that board. <laughs> well, uh, Anvil has a new album. Good thing David out. went to bed, huh? No, he's used to this. <laughs> he says something. Like, what? <laughs> well, uh, Anvil has a, a new album coming out. Mm. Late spring, early summer. It's going to be called uh, Hope and Hell. Hope, Hope and Hell. hell. Yeah, Hope and Hope Hell. hell. Happy Hell? Happy Hell, oh, Hope in Hell. <laughs> and it's going to be the debut of their new bassist, Sal Italiano. Sal Italiano! Sal Italiano! He wouldn't happen to be Italian, would he? If he's not, there's something fucking really weird so about they that. Got a, they got Where's a, your green card, boy? Yeah. They've got a guinea in the band, eh? A Canadian guinea. So, <laughs> a Canadian guinea. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm not Italian, eh? <laughs> what how the Italian food is in Canada? I'll bet you it's pretty good. You think? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know. Have you been to Canada? No. Canadian hockey's good. Have you been to Canada? I have not, no. You know you can drive there. It's really not that far. I know you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to live actually about 20 minutes outside of Canada. I lived in North Tonawanda, so we used to go over there a lot. You could drive to England, really, if the ocean's dried up. Yeah, that might be kind of hard. You know, yeah. what, you know what fascinated me was that, you ever seen the movie Salvador? Mm -mm. With uh, James Woods, you know what I'm talking about? It's a movie about Al. Well, I know James. Wilson I might have seen. Movie. I might have seen some of it and not know the name of it. It was a movie about El Salvador and a fascinating. Did he shoot Ted Danson in the head. That's the Onion Field. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I, I'm surprised. What I was it? That onion Field. Yeah, the Onion Field. Yeah, that's that's cool yeah, reference, that's right? Mm -hmm. I, I just remember that scene. The guy dancing, gets shot in the fucking head, and the one dude freaks out after he sees. He's like, boo. Yeah, it was John. I think John Savage was loses his yeah. mind and shit. Well, Salvador was about it was about uh, reporters going over and covering what's, what the strife that was going on in El Salvador. And what fascinated me most about that movie was the fact that, that you could drive to El Salvador. 
Isn't it Pete Sandoval from a... Dude, a you could drive all the way to fucking the, the tip of uh, South America. It just seems weird. Yeah. The fact that it's so far away, right? It just doesn't seem real that you can really drive there. I don't yeah, know. It's, it's weird. There's a because bridge, that, there's yeah. a bridge over yeah. the uh, uh, canal. What's that canal called? Panama. Panama. Yeah, duh. I just thought it was really strange watching. Like, I thought it was the Suez that? Canal. <laughs> so uh, come back to Anvil. Okay. Uh, Lips says. Uh, Lips. 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 Who? Lips is, is their the singer. Frontman, yeah. Metal on metal. There you go. Mm. Now you know. He just compl- not like uh, uh, Exciter. Actually, I also for like awesome Canada too. Till the knife. Wow, you're gonna be doing a lot of singing tonight. I never liked Exciter. No, we did a cover of them on NBS. Uh, I was lukewarm on Exciter. I liked them in the beginning. Like I had to feel old life EP. But we did a uh, cover of War Is Hell. We did, did that. The one. only thing I knew about Anvil was like somebody that beat a horseshoe. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Exciter got. I think I thought they got better as they went on. Actually, some of the later releases I like. Pounding metal! But uh, Lips just said, I've just completed all the rhythm guitars for the entire CD. Tomorrow I begin singing. Holy shit, this CD is coming out totally amazing, top to bottom. Every song is kicking major ass. There is no doubt that Hope in Hell, number 86, over and out, and loving it. I'm not sure what that means, <laughs> that last part. I don't know, man. That's pretty much what we have on the info. The dude sounds British, though, when he sings. You ever notice that? Yeah, he does. Metal on metal! Th- it doesn't th- sound uh, Canadian. It sounds like New Wave. like New Wave of British heavy metal, totally. Metal on metal, yeah. yeah totally. My two favorite you things about Anvil. Yeah. I, went, I went and saw them. Yeah, they played at the... Uh, yeah, best yeah. Canadian metal band in the world. Yeah, put your shades Boy, on. Put your shades on. They played at the March Metal Meltdown. Ross is second. Which one? Uh, the one that was in... Uh, and Brian Adams is way down. At Asbury this. Park. I played that one. Yeah, do you remember they played? I and played with Bruce Springsteen. And Lips came over to me and he's like, hey, he was convinced that he knew me. Really? It wasn't, he didn't know Jeff Rapport, but he knew some guy that looked a lot like Jeff Rapport. Really? And, he, and then Rob Reiner came over as the guy. That Rob Reiner? I know, not the guy from. Not, <laughs> not Meathead. Not Meathead. Meathead right? <laughs> <laughs> <He came> over, <laughs> That's great. He came over and he was like, look who it is. He said, it's like, whoever it was, and the guy's looking at me like, who the fuck is this guy? It was his yeah. Jewish tour manager. <laughs> he had no idea who the fuck I was. And then, watch, watch. But then, because he thought he knew me, when they played on, when they played, we sat like third row, and he came over and he played guitar and sang like right like this in my face. Maybe he was attracted to you. Who isn't? I know I am. <laughs> Dude, I mean, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we have on Anvil. Okay. Well, <laughs> at least they're metal. Give, I'll give him respect. Yeah. Too late. We're off air now. No, you're not. Yeah. Oh, no, we're not? Oh, oh well. Okay. 